Hi, betting experts. On Wednesday the 17th of March, first of all, look back at our two bets on day one at the Cheltenham Festival. We stay at Cheltenham the second day. Perfect ground conditions, a really competitive card. We start off with our value angle selection in the opening 120. This is the Ballymore Novice Hurdle, two mile five, grade one, class one, four-year-olds and upwards, £52,753 on offer. It's one of the most competitive novice races of the season. It hasn't been too diluted. It looks three runners to me. I know there's been a bit of money around for Bear Gillis, who's a horse I really like, but I'd be surprised if he was um, experienced enough against the hardened performers at the front of the market. He's a very raw horse who's going to be a cracking chaser. I don't think he'll be quite the grade. So it looks three runners to concentrate on. The very well-backed Bob Ollinger is now as short as two to one or even slightly less in the market. Galliard de Mesnil. A big runner who I respect, but he is quirky. And the one for me, Paul Nix's Brave Man's Game. Now, this one has always been held in high regard at home. He won his only point-to-point point and cost a small fortune. Arrived at Nichols and finished third at Ascot behind Soaring Glory in a bumper that's worked out superbly well. He then found heavy ground, no use to him, when disappointing back at Ascot. Off for 294 days, very heavily backed at Chepstow in October, but finished second behind Soaring Glory. The winner's gone on to win the Betfair Hurdle. He's a very useful performer in his own right. Three wins since for Brave Man's Game, and each time is jumping has sharpened up and he was really impressive last time at Newbury in the grade one cello hurdle in December making most of the running and not coming off the bridle jumping superbly to route Stargate who turned up with a very big reputation the form is really strong and I think he's probably achieved the most of the three with form claims and the icing on the cake I think he'll love this decent ground there's no stamina issues with him he'll be charging up the hill for sure and I think he might just be a bit of value at three to one against the two Irish challengers for our nap of the day we go to the feature race the 305 the Betway Queen Mother Champion Chase a grade one over two miles here. I think this is absolutely gilt edge for Shakin Poursois, who's available around about even money at the moment. I do not like any of his rivals at all. Altior, for me, looked completely gone on his seasonal reappearance. I know he's trained by a genius and he's got a terrific career record, but he is 11 now and I think he's too slow, especially on decent ground. I'll be absolutely amazed if he wins. I want to be against him. Politolo won this last year. He's a brilliant jumping front runner, but I don't think you'll get any peace on the lead here with first flow. The renewal he won in 2020 was substandard. Um, not for me at all, and I don't think the drying ground's ideal either. First flow's liable to duel on the lead with Politolog. All of his form is right-handed, mainly at Ascot. I think they'll be in a war on the lead, possibly with Rouge Vif as well, and one or two others. It's made for Shaq and Poursois. He's got a brilliant makeup. He's a sound jumper. He's a completely straightforward horse. He's won six from eight over fences for Willie Bullins. He's been trained to peak on this day. I think he'll appreciate the decent ground. Um, he was really impressive at Leopardstown on the 20th. 27th of December when beating Note, but by six and a half lengths on good ground, so there's no issues on that score. The only thing people point to, he's got no Cheltenham experience, well that's certainly true, but it's hardly his fault. Um, his only defeat for Willie Mullins came when second behind A plus Tard at Leopardstown back in 2019 on really testing ground and for me I really fancy A plus Tard to win the Gold Cup later in the week so it's hardly anything to knock him he's one of those favourites some people will be looking to oppose him I think the only danger for me is Noob Negra who will definitely like this decent ground and really impressed last time at Kempton um, the only thing I'll say reading the form back obviously only beat Altio who I suspect is a gone horse he was 20 to 1 that day and all of his form previously including when second behind Rujvif at Warwick um, 323 days previously back in February 2020 just doesn't make him look good enough I have my doubts about getting up the hill and I think Noob Negra could be more of an Aintree glider rather than a Cheltenham glider so Shaq in Poursois for me around about even money a more than fair price I'm confident he'll land the spoils for Willie Mullins and Paul Townend. best of luck on Wednesday betting experts